dear customer we thank you for uh, purchasing the lead fluid uh, peristaltic pump uh, unigenetics is uh, distributing these pumps in india almost for the last 6 to 8 months now uh, this is a very simple plug and play machine uh, but still we are trying to demonstrate uh, how to operate the machine once you receive it uh, this is a 230 volts machine and this pump is BT100S. This is a BT series uh, pump and this head is YZ15. This machine is a 230 volts machine. So and uh, this is a RS485 mode bus controller if you want to control the pump uh, from some external source. Once you receive the machine, there are two tighten bolts or shipping screws. So whenever you are operating the machine, always uh, release these two screws. So I have taken these two screws out. Uh, this is a very important step and please remember that before operating the machine, you have to take these two screws out. This pump is a continuous mode pump and uh, we are just trying to demonstrate how to run that. So just put the power on. On the back there is an on off switch. Put the machine on and here this is your keyboard. In, in the BT series there are three types of pump BT100S, BT300S and BT600S. All the different models have different RPM speeds. Like for BT100S, the speed is 0.1 to 150 RPM. For BT300S, the speed is 0 0.1 to 350 RPM. And for BT600, it is 0 0.1 to 600. Same wise, the flows will be different. Like for BT100, the flow is 0 0.00162, around 575 ml per minute for BT 300 it is 0 0.0062 1340 ml per minute and for BT 600 it is 0 0.0062 2300 ml per minute. So this is our BT 100 series pump here the RPM is 0 0.1 to 150 RPM and the flow is 0 0.0016 to 575 ml per minute. These flows we attain with different type of tubings. If the tubing ID is more, the flow will be more. So we will demonstrate it here how we do that. So this is our RPM setting. Like at this point of time, the pump is at 11.3 RPM. So I can take it up to 150 RPM. So with these up and down arrow keys, we can increase or decrease the RPM. So I am setting it at 30 RPM. So this is at 30 RPM. This is a flow. If you want to run the pump clockwise, the LED is lightening up. And if you want to reverse it, we just press the direction switch and it, it will reverse the flow. These are the three modes, external. If you want to control the pump from some external source, foot. Again, foot mode switch. So in our lab, we will run it at INT or internal mode. Then there are three more keys. This is for flushing. This is the fast forward key for flushing your solvent. This is for running and stopping. And this is a special mode for filling of some vessel in some fixed amount of liquid. So we are just trying to run the machine with some tubing. Like this tubing is a 16 number tubing. So we will run, we will see how to load the tubing in the pump head. So just unlock or open the pump head, slide the tubing in and on the right hand side there is one notch, lift it up, release the tubing. On the left hand side also there is a notch, lift it up and release the tubing. 
and lock the pump head. So at this point of time we are using 16 number tubing and at 30 rpm it should give a flow of 24 ml per minute. Let us see how it does that. We are just flushing uh, the pump so that air is taken out. Okay. So at now the rpm is 30 and I am just starting the pump. So this is giving a flow of 24 ml per minute. If we will increase the rpm, the flow will also increase. So the flow will depend on the rpm and second parameter is the id of the tubing. Now there is a very good uh, one more function that is a filling function. Suppose we want to fill 5 ml tube, suppose we want to fill 5 ml each time, so what we can do is, we can set this 5 ml and how we have to, we will do that, I am just going to demonstrate. Press this fill key for a longer time and you see that this display starts blinking. So we will fill 5 ml, just press the start button. So 5 ml is filled, we will stop it and then press again the fill key. Now the pump has stored 5 ml volume and next time if we want to fill the 5 ml, we just have to press this fill key and the pump will fill 5 ml volume. This is a nice feature if you want to do some repeated uh, fills. Uh, with the help of this pump. I hope uh, this uh, small video helps uh, in understanding the machine and running the machine first time. Uh, we again uh, thank you for uh, purchasing the lead fluid pump and if you are having any problems or you have any queries uh, always uh, feel free to contact us. Thank you so much.